Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 16 match between, well, the best team still left in the competition of course here. We've got Simply Simple and a really nice Orc team. But look at this incredible team. Everyone here is called Jimmy Fantastic. They're Pro Elves. Um, they don't have a wizard though, so this isn't going to be easy. <laughs> because this is a this is a really nice, really nice Orc team. I mean, maybe it's not that nice actually. I think it was better, but this had some players injured. Because there's a rookie Black Oak there, rookie Blitzer. Um, a Blitzer, a Merc Blitzer with Tackle. I'm sure they were better than this. Um, I'm sure they were better than this before. Another. Yeah, so he, I'm sure they were better. I'm sure they were better. Oh, yeah, the Orcs have got two Brides and a Babe. I'm literally sure the Orcs were better than this. They must have taken a bunch of cars. Um, and yeah, the Elves have got some good players and they're all armor 7 so <laughs> it might be a bit of a banging but it's, there's more to the game than just banging isn't there so Glorious autopilot. Oh, block plus block. I mean, that's pretty shit, isn't it? So, block plus block on the LOS. Like, dude. That's pretty, <laughs> pretty rubbish. Bench boy. Oh yeah, they're nearly all called Jimmy Fantastic. There is uh, there is Dimmy Benchtastic, and there's Bench Boy, and there's Kalon is better than Fimey, <laughs> and there's uh, mm, yeah. yeah so, but you know, mostly Jimmy Fantastics. Oh, we're going straight in for the ball, Sam. Instant one D. <laughs> like this is a. Uh, a gaping hole here, right? So you can just come straight through and go for one thing. Yeah. Oh, but can also just leap in to cancel it. <laughs> I quite like leaping to here and then blocking back. Oh, I can chain it. Could have chained. Oh, but that, oh, that puts him out of there to just make it not even a leap required. Okay, well, a big swarm all around the ball, and uh, who knew that splitting your team in half was a terrible idea? I don't think the pylon was that terrible, I just think the rest of the moves combined with the pylon really, uh, really opened up this position, didn't it? That was a nice little turn, I think you should be able to uh, roll powers here. And get them all cleared off. Get the team back together. This could be a bit of a, a bait, almost. Like it's still, still t pretty terrible for the Orcs. Oh, and he makes that block. Rock hole. <laughs> it's really dangerous, isn't it, with this guy here? Like, I don't know what the solution is to this. We'll just make a cast. That helps. Oh. One dice pal. That also helps. Probably not enough. Four elves standing on their feet. At the start of the turn. And double scores. <laughs> well. <laughs> I think that skulls means he's got away with this drive. Um, now it's just, you know, be sensible. 
guard on both kids at the whole time and uh, do some fouling. And this should be a, a very easy drive now. Try and foul the edge fives if you can. Yeah, so I would have considered not activating the troll at all. I would move up here, move up here, right, and then get guard on both corners. I guess this way it gets to bang more. And banging is good, to be fair. Really good. <laughs> Yeah, bad mistake, Ronnie really difficult. So, so somehow, um, we've got a base cage. That probably doesn't really matter. Well, he could leap in here and then chain him. Leap in, chain, you know, there's things that could happen. I guess things can always happen. But not going to try anything. Just gonna get fouled for four more turns. I thought they were both elite, but only this one's elite. Well, I definitely like uh, fouling the edge, the five leaper for sure. Wow. Apple fails. Right, works. Obviously, it's a bit of rubbish. I thought just using it on a miss next, but it's a really good player, isn't it, for winning this one on the next one? So. Totally justified apothecary usage. <laughs> it really was, yeah, and so, yeah. This is like performing the exact opposite of an Andy Dearborn named Team Wood, I think, <laughs> right now. <laughs> every every armor roll is removed is resulted in a in a cast player or a KO'd player. <laughs> Does the job anyway, and has to use the second, second bribe? Maybe, maybe he's keeping the second half. Roll the one anyway. Yeah, don't you definitely don't want dim dice. It's the last thing you want. And so it's a two into one because of the sidestep. Just needs the two. Pile on. Diced. Got a pile there. Come on, man. Is there a rookie? No. Ooh. GFI in a handoff next turn. Ooh, that's a bit greedy. There was no need to GFI. I guess it wasn't. It was a double GFI. But well, there was no need because there's still t two turns. Last reroll comes in to keep that guy standing to try and put some semblance of a threat with this threatened handoff. Yeah, that was really weird. Using that real maybe not right. There's some stand firm probably. No, but no, there isn't. One stand firm. Our leader on the thrower. The 
classic, the classic chunter strat. Those two G vines last time were really weird. He's gonna pass it, no he's handing it off. Boo. Should have passed it. <laughs> Might go this far. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Oh, Magnus the Pink, glorious. Thank you very much, staying fantastic for 15 glorious months. Ah, oh, yeah. Nearly four for Ruby for pregnancy. <laughs> well, I mean, I've been live non-stop for about two weeks, but um, to be fair, the Minecraft isn't very popular. <laughs> it's not great content, but one day it will be. One day it will be glorious content in Minecraft. Just not yet. Very good. Glorious. Easy turn storm. No, I won't give in until I'm I mean, victorious. It wasn't easy, it wasn't easy right? It was and really I will defend. I will defend. It was really dodgy at first, but then it became easier. That, that's what it's like a lot, often with Wood El uh, with Pro Elves, isn't it? Pro Elves more than the others because they've got the sticky diving, uh, the sticky sidesteppers that often take down and tackle early, but. You know, all elves can play like that, where they, they throw something at, at the wall and see if it sticks in the first few turns, and if it, if it doesn't, they nope out, and if it does, well, they will one up on your drive. And thank you very much, Dirty Raxor, staying fantastic for 14 glorious months, three and a half fever pregnancies. Absolutely glorious. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. So we've got the one turn chance. Match five, one turn. Only one stand firm. There's not much stand firm, is it? It's not going to be easy to get this door size or anything. But the edge five makes the dodge through very easy. Oh, perfect defense. Now it's going to be really difficult. <laughs> Now it's going to be super difficult. Some might say impossible. He's on the wrong line here, shouldn't he? They should start here. Is he going to realise in a minute? Nope, just refuses to place them properly. Just fucking refuses to place his players properly. What a scumbag. Permanent events of the problem. Oh! Well, that's a nice little cas, isn't it? Flip me. Apple works though. Huge apple. I like I like just appling him to be fair, is not it? But the weird LOS, right? They shouldn't have been on the LOS. Like, okay, the strength four on guard. So they're like, you know, a bit harder to push around, but really I would have just put the LOS. But then anyway. you Maybe I underestimate overestimate underestimate people's ability to score one turns, but like this isn't a super easy one turn, is it? Movement 8, match 5, no sidestep. You've got a strength 5 guard to stand firm, the guy. I wouldn't be that concerned. Like, he, he can do it, obviously. Like, I'm not saying that Martin Septon doesn't know how to do it, but I just think, like, there's so many dice to roll that it's, uh, it's not super likely. I mean, you should still make an effort to defend it to an extent, but I just don't think you can expose your best players. I think there's a time and a place to expose your best players. Stopping the one turn, I think that was two rewards. If it's an edge five gutter runner, like that one, but one point of movement makes it trivial. Right? So, uh, 
definitely put in my best players because it's you're scrapping for every every percentage point there. Daka, here we go. My defense on offense. I love a good Daka. I thought about playing Prowls in Blood Bowl 3 or, you know, Blood Bowl 2020. Um, just because the Blitzers have got a passing ability of a 3 plus, so the Blitzers could still pass it. <laughs> Whereas. Dark Elves and Wood Elves can't really, can't really farm SPPs while backing anyway. Especially not Witch Elves, can't they? Five plus passes for Witch Elves, crazy. They've literally made Witch Elves add one at passing, it's insane. Love a deck. Five rerolls as well. Hmm. Obviously, no, uh, no vanity passing this drive because uh, losing one nil, that was never going to happen, even though it just did. <laughs> a high elf catcher. That might be a five plus. I think it's probably just a four plus. Which is still like edge two, isn't it? It's it's so stupid. It's so stupid that they can make it. And will this definitively prove once and for all that the Dakar is a, a terrible idea? I mean we know it can't prove it's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> but it might prove that it's a terrible idea. We got a bit after this. Before I play Minecraft for eight hours. <laughs> Sidestep of that, because yeah. like obviously there's free route, free run to to get forward, but like there's nowhere to go. Like it's taking his whole like, movement just to get there, isn't it? So you've got to just stand there and hold it. It's a, it's a bit of a fancy. Hey. Uh, make an extra ball. 
Random as well, right? Regular blow. Regular blow. <laughs> so the orc pulling himself out of position to make uh, two mighty blow hits. And gets removed by regular blow. Well, gets removed. Still not regular blow. Regular blow is terrifying. <laughs> That's got to be one of my favourite rickisms. Regular blow. I wonder if it was better to move this guy first and then this guy could have come over. I think I would have liked that. Yeah, so I would have liked this guy up there, and you could have done that by like, just moving that guy first, and like, this guy kicking on the or something. And then he's like just protecting all of this a bit more, isn't he? I think, I think that's good. Cool. Because if he comes in down here, he's already leaving too much back down there, he has to like attack up here and uh, try and push down. If he goes here, you can scoop this. Really, I mean, it's really hard. For anyone to come with that. Especially with the speed, so so. Uh, uh, especially when they're not even really trying to stop it. <laughs> then it gets. Then it gets harder. <laughs> and they're not even really trying to stop you then I uh, then it gets really Well can you see the play guys? <laughs> Actually, no, um, do I do I not like that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Funny isn't it, so this guy last turn I wanted to move up here. In being behind Makes him out of range to do that assist, and if he'd been able to do that assist, then that guy could have got right forward again. So it's, it's interesting, isn't it? How like that one move last turn would have made quite a big difference this turn potentially. Death. Oh god. Um, wow. <laughs> Isn't it interesting? <laughs> um, well, no, it's, it's, it's interesting how, like, decisions have, like, a cum cumulative effect, don't they? That's the thing. So, like, and yeah, now, now it's over, right? They're, they're completely. They're completely screened off, and it's GG. Well, not GG. Uh, it's going overtime. Um, so there you go. There you go. Still popping. Jimmy, fantastic. Still getting injured. So it's still pretty bad. Like a lot of this drive is done. Um, still have to win the toss. Almost gonna pom. Oh yeah. 
Oh, there is a TTM attempt for the Orcs. Yeah, they've got a Goblin. Great shout. Great shout, there is a Goblin. And I'm a six Goblin. But, you know, there'll be a chance. There will be a chance. But I mean, he might have as many players as he's got rerolls, <laughs> which isn't good. <laughs> so um, does need some players though. But yeah, five rerolls. I didn't come here to win games, I came here to POM. I mean, well, you can do both, can't you? That's the thing. Like, POMing really does help you win games. Humans are the flashiest. Elves. Hello. Maybe 11 then, eh? Three times out of four to come back. But there is obviously the. Uh... There's another. There's another LOS before all the time. Remembered to throw a teammate, well done. I believe should be one further forward, but I don't know. These surely shouldn't be grouped together, right? Because then there's no need to hit them. You can just have the control here. At least if you have them spread out, they have to make a book. Which could fail. <laughs> I mean, they're going to make the book anyway, so maybe, maybe it's better. But technically, if this was an attempt to stop the score, every percentage point, then forcing them to block is better than not forcing them to block. It adds an extra like, 0.1% of the thing. 
but obviously he won't be doing everything he can to score for but he'll really be trying to uh... wow didn't move the troll for that was terrible that was genuinely terrible wait no it wasn't yeah it was no it wasn't one wait okay let's have a look one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah, the, tr the troll and the goblin should have both gone forward, right? One, two, three, four, five, double geophone. They both had to go forward because... Oh, but then it could, it could have not caught it and it could have gone backwards or laterally. So no, no, yeah, he had to stay there, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he had to stay in case it went laterally. If it, if it goes back, he's out of range, but it could have gone laterally. So there's a, there's a one in four chance. There's a one in four chance. Well, there's a near, there's so there's a one in eight chance that it goes here, and there's a three in sixteen chance it goes here. But that doesn't matter, so you can disregard that. So there's a much more chance that you catch it or it's in front. You could just disregard that. So for you to maximise chances, maybe you should just move, you know quick snap me forward. Honestly. Oh. Moving six as well. This could have been one square and like nearer. And so. Oh! He, fit, he rolled a one on the first. He didn't need him though. So. That's something. Finally, I was thinking he could save him. He's only got 11 players with the goblin. So I would have been tempted to not be sent off, but um, <laughs> this is the good thing about thinking you'll fail everything. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, 50-50 right now, I guess. No special videos. Ooh, the Orcs win. Oh, wow. They have got 10 players. And they're down this tackle. But the elves are down 4 players, including Ash 5 Leaper. Wrestler, Guard, Tackler. So all, all Simply Simple has to do is uh, play safe. Which... You know, he did play safe on the first drive, once there were like 3 elves left. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly, Dog to the Dog, yeah, I think if they, I mean, with this amount of players as well, with this amount of players, if the Elves win the toss, they win the match, so this is definitely better from a neutral point of view. Though, of course, when somebody's team is all called Jimmy Fantastic, I'm a little bit less neutral. <laughs> a blots! Oh, well. That's interesting. Yeah, that's, it's funny, isn't it? It's true, yeah, it's true. Very polarizing. The opposite of potatoes. <laughs> potatoes are like a bit boring and everyone likes them. I'm a bit like Marmite, I guess. Fucking hate Marmite as well. Fucking hate Ooh, blood step. Blood step DT on the ball. I'm gonna go here. Ooh. Okay. Well, I like going here. 
A lot more than a double one. <laughs> so, I didn't know he was going to roll a double one, obviously. But, um, the LOS here, you can, uh, this is like, this is frenzy tackle, right? And you can just punch, punch, punch and clear, clear them off to free the tackler. So, but if you put him there, then, uh, then he's got to, like, go one, you know, the wrestle, he might wrestle, so he might not be able to even go there. So he might, but, he, but you're going to have to, like, basically at least push them both in one, two, three, four, five, six, and nah, that's still only a GFI. Maybe this guy should have gone last and tried to get the edge five to here. Yeah, it's just not that impactful, is it? At first I thought it was really good, but then it's actually one, two, three, four, five, six. It's only a GFI. And the push di the, the blitz direction doesn't matter, it's got sidestep as well. So maybe the, uh, yeah, it's not good enough. No. If you could have got somebody here and somebody here, like, or somebody here and somebody here, but more realistically, somebody here and somebody here, that would have been amazing, wouldn't it? I mean, it's it's better than there, though. <laughs> it's, it's better than prone and maybe dead, but yeah, I mean, yeah, we see. It's it's totally reasonable to chuck in your rerolls to do the uh, arrows. Uh, so yeah. At first, it seemed good, but then actually counting out the squares, it wasn't. Well, or rather, it could have been the plan from the start, and then if it's the plan from the start, maybe there's a different way to blitz or move to be able to get the screen. You know? Yeah, there you go. Just, just, just have him. Push. What? Oh, has he got grab? No, he doesn't have grab. Ah, oh, it's because of frenzy. Okay. Oh my god. All right. So now, was this a GFI there and a GFI there, and then? He could have, uh... Oh, wow. Diced. I was like, what the hell is this size step go there? So you're still on him, but yeah, friends. Oh, wow. Double skulls. In the self cats. In the broken neck. <laughs> well, now this player looks brilliant. <laughs> now this player looks brilliant. <laughs> Kill <me in! laughs> Yeah, fantastic move. Fantastic move, Matt and Septon. Um, <laughs> perfect play. Rolling there, failing the GFI so he wouldn't be tagged or fouled or anything or blitzed. There we go. Easy. Easiest win of your life. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Unbelievable, Jeff. Well, there you go. Um, <laughs> 24 AV breaks to fall. <laughs> um, but, you know, I mean, that happens as well sometimes, doesn't it? They don't need to... Uh, they don't need to uh, outblock people to win. Just need to score some touchdowns. There you go. Um, commiseration is simply simple. Congratulations, Martin Septim slash Sambo Simon. You can see on the screen there. And uh, thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.